Hey YouTube, it's Nick from Nick282K. As I was playing with the ferrofluid, I accidentally got some stuck to one of my magnets. The ferrofluid collected on the magnet around the points of strongest flux, which is one of the poles of the magnet. I took it to the uh, laundry sink to see if I could break it up using some soap and clean my magnet off, and when I put it down, I found that that ferrofluid stuck to the magnet actually turned it into a zero friction bearing. Even though the bottom of the laundry tub is very scratched up from years of use, the magnet could slide around on it like an air hockey puck. The ferrofluid I'm using is oil based, so it's naturally already slippy, but even water based ferrofluids will have this property. The ferrofluid being stuck to the magnet is not allowed to move relative to the magnet, but inside that uh, confining space uh, held by the magnetic field, the ferrofluid can actually churn and roll. So any time it kind of slides over a surface, uh, it will just churn and roll and move out of the way of small bumps in the surface while still suspending the magnet above the surface, letting it slide around. In the laundry tub, you could see that the ferrofluid left a trail along the bottom everywhere that it went. This is the ferrofluid getting stuck in the little scratches and scrapes. If you could put this uh, magnet and ferrofluid on a surface that is not wettable, the ferrofluid would stay stuck to the magnet permanently and you wouldn't need to replenish the ferrofluid stuck to the magnet. This would make a very good low friction bearing for uh, light loads. Perhaps it could be used in uh, small high speed CNC machines or uh, a high speed 3D printer. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting. And keep in mind that if you buy ferrofluid, this stuff is incredibly messy. This sticks to everything. So uh, if you're going to try making frictionless ferrofluid bearings or anything like that, make sure you have lots of soap and paper towel handy.